My name is Aaron Chandler and you're watching Coast Chai YouTube channel. The perfect place for theme park news, reviews and vlogs. After all, I've always got roller coasters running through my mind. <laughs> All you beautiful thrill seekers, my name is Coach Shadog, the born but built for theme parks, and welcome to a theme park newsroom update where today we're going to be discussing shows and events at Alton Towers. Now, mainly events, and basically, we're going to share with you uh, past events that I would like to see return to the Alton Towers Resort. Now, I'm going to be sharing information on three different events from the past, and I'm going to be sharing with you why I think they should bring it back in the future. So, before we get started with all of that, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click that case bell so you never miss another thrilling YouTube video. Also, guys, make sure you go and check out all the previous updates. Make sure you comment down below your questions for our next sub Q and A video uh, when we hit 3,000 subs. Where we you know we're nearly we're, we're un under a thousand away, so we, we've got a long way to go to 3K. But the quicker you guys subscribe, the quicker we get to 3K. Use the hashtag question before or after your question. Also, guys, make sure you go to the description down below where you can check out the Twitter, the TikTok, the Instagram, the Snapchat. Uh, the Discord server where you can interact with other Coast Child fans on that. Uh, and also, guys, submit your video ideas using the Google Forms link, also linked in the description down below. And for now, guys, let's talk about three events from the past that I would bring back to the Alton Towers Resort. So, event number one is Half Term Hula Baloo. Hula Baloo. <laughs> Those are. Hula, hula Baloo, that's how it's pronounced. But yes, basically, this is a ma massive, massive half-term event in February, in the February half-term, where they would preview the upcoming season by opening a select number of rides. Now, this does include thrill rides, not like the current uh, February half-term stuff, where they do like the Pirates and Princess stuff in the hotel, and it's just like the, the family rides open for that like, amount of time. But yeah, basically, they had this February half-term event, that there's the half-term Hula Baloo, um, and basically they had like a selection of rides, Thrill and Family, you know, Air was open in the past, Nemesis, and the Blade was open, Hex, Jewel, you know, there was a big selection of uh, Thrill and Family rides, like a big collection of both Thrill and Family rides open in the February half term, and I'd like to see that come back, especially since, you know, Merlin and, you know, other parks outside of the chained parks are going to be, you know, on the road to recovery after COVID, and, you know, from 2021, 2022, in the next few years onwards, it will be the recovery period off the aftermath of COVID. Because, you know, we could have lost a couple of parks if it wasn't for some takeovers. M&D's got saved. Drayton Manor got saved. Wixty Park will pro probably, hopefully, be on the verge of saving. Um, if not, then we have lost a park in Wixty Park. Um, but, you know, we, we do need to bring these events back after COVID to, to give more finances to the park and also it gives guests the chance to come back earlier on in the season and try out the big thrill rides so rides like nemesis galactica um oblivion 13 rita um the only rides that probably shouldn't be open is the water rides because usually in february and during the winter the rides in the water rides are usually the ones that aren't open so things like the conga river rapids the battle galleons uh, the flume when it was when it was at the park uh, wouldn't have been open, but of course that's gone now. So if you look at it from a realistic standpoint, Conga River Rapids and Battle Galleons are probably the only rides that won't open during the uh, half term hula hula baloo if it came back. Um, Alton Towers Dungeon does have a water section in it, but that's a dark ride with the water boat ride section. So you know that will probably still open uh, with extra charges, uh, unless the unless they could afford the staffing for February. If not, then Alton Towers Dungeon will probably remain closed as well. World Demo Williams that could be open during the February half term event as well. It, whether it's called half term, uh, half term hula baloo or just the, or, or or half term thrills or something like that, just bringing back the more thrilling side of half term. Uh, days at the park. That's sort of the idea behind this particular first of the three events that I would bring back. The sort of more thrill side of the half-term breaks. So the half-term hula baloo is something I would like to see come back, especially with them opening thrill rides. Maybe do some events around the park as well at that, at that same time. 
Um, I mean, you remember back in 2014, I think it was, uh, they did like the Moshi Monsters mission, and they had like Moshis walking around the park at February Heart um, for the for the kids and for the family. So, you know, it'd be nice for them to collaborate with someone to do that. Maybe collaborate with CBeebies again, uh, bring in some characters to walk around the park during February Heart Time, just to give them a nice warm welcome back into the season. Um, so that's something I would really do, and I think it's something the park would look at doing, in my opinion. So I think that's one event out of the first out of the three that I would bring back that would be great to see at the Alton Towers Resort once again. The second of these events is the Adrenaline Weeks. Now, these are the most thrilling events at the park. Now, these operated for a good couple of years at the park during the old noughties, the 2000s. Uh, that's what we nicknamed it back then, the noughties. Um, and it was sort of around 2007 to 2009. And, you know, there was, the, there was a couple of things that made the Adrenaline Week stand out. Firstly, there was the Triple Ride Promise that was back in 2007. Uh, and I think it was 2008 as well. Uh, basically, it would guarantee guests at least three times on the most thrilling rides at the park. So basically, the Triple Ride Promise is that you'll get on every single one of the thrill rides at least three times a day. So that was the, the promise, shall we say, for that event. And back in 2009, which I believe is the last Adrenaline Weeks year, um, they actually, what they did is, they closed most of the park and they kept the 10 most thrilling rides open and for just 15 quid, you could ride those rides constantly. Um, and it was an incredible, incredible event. And, you know, I, I remember the days of Alton Towers when we had the Adrenaline Weeks. And, you know, I think the Adrenaline Weeks would be a really good way of bringing the Thrill Seekers back to Alton Towers. And, and to be fair, you could do the same thing again. The 10 most thrilling rides in the park. So you would keep Enterprise, The Blade, Nemesis, Galactica, um, Oblivion, 13, Smiler, Rita, Wicker Man. Um, and I, I, in terms of another one, I'd probably go with maybe Spinball Wizard. Um... You know, if, if Nemesis or Terror was open, that would have been in there. If Ripsaw was still open, that would have been in that top 10 list. You know, all the coasters pretty much are in there, apart from Octonauts. And, um, you know, it, 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 it would be an interesting way to bring back the Thrill Seekers. It really, really would. And, um, you know, it's a really good way of bringing back the thrill aspect to, to the Alton Towers Resort. Maybe take out the blade and bring in the runaway mind train if you wanted all the coasters. Um, the adrenaline weeks are a great way to bring the thrill seekers back to Alton Towers on a consistent basis. And I think that the, I mean, think about it. The 10 most thrilling rides for just £15 entry. If you if you enter the park when the, the sort of offer starts, at like the time when it starts. So, yeah, that's a great way of bringing the thrill seekers into Alton Towers. And, you know, the Adrenaline Week is such a big part of the noughties era from 2000 to 2009. And, you know, Alton Towers really pushed towards that. And I think the Adrenaline Weeks are a really good way of bringing them back uh, during the, the, the post-COVID era as we get back to normality, hopefully, in the next year. And, you know, I mean, comment down below if you agree if the Adrenaline Weeks are an event that you would want to bring back. So the Adrenaline Weeks are a thrilling event and it's something I would like to see back at the Alton Towers Resort. Finally, event number three. It's the chocolatiest, most chocolatey event at the Alton Towers Resort. It is the Easter extravaganza known as Chocolate Towers. Now, Chocolate Towers are... It's, a, it's a, a wonderful event. There was loads of things to do with Chocolate Towers over the years. There was things like Chocolate Dancers... Uh, the Time Out Lounge, a live erupting volcano at the bottom of Tower Street. Um, there was like a chocolates, like, like a sh like a special show on what was known as Chocolate Square, which was the renamed Fountain Square where Hex is, where the Cuckoo Cars Driving School now is, of course, because uh, Cloud Cuckoo Land is gone. And you know, it, it, it's all all things chocolatey, really. And of course, they did a partnership with Cadbury for a year or two uh, with Chocolate Towers. So you know, they had this whole partnership with Cadbury. They could do the same thing again. Um, they could really partner with Cadbury. Maybe bring back some old classic bars. So maybe bring back the the White Chocolate Dream bars uh, and bring them into the into the park and uh, maybe do some exclusives and 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 you know re remarket them right, and re, re w w remake them. Um, and, you know, remake the dream bars, bring them into an exclusive white chocolate uh, driving truck onto the park, bring in the entertainment team, bring in the chocolate dancers, um, maybe uh, 
part, maybe you get a new show on Fountain Square or rename it again to Chocolate Square. Um, you know, have the famous Cadbury songs from the adverts sung. So maybe get Phil Collins in or someone um, or someone else to sing In the Air Tonight from the Gorilla Drum advert. And um, Yes Sir, I Can Boogie. And, you know, all these different things. Everyone's a fruit and nut cake. You remember that one? I don't, I don't think they do the fruit and nut cake bars anymore. But it would be a great nostalgia. And, you know, there's some really cool stuff they could do with this. Again, the live erupting volcano. Maybe they could do a co collaboration with CBeebies. Maybe they do some healthy chocolate. Because I know CBeebies is like learning through play with the CBeebies land. Um, so maybe learning about healthy eating. So maybe they create, maybe Cadbury work with Alton Towers to create some, uh, some healthy chocolate bars. Um... So it's uh, and make them as healthy as possible, maybe. I mean, that could be a route down. So there's a really good way of collaborating with Cadbury, and even if you don't collaborate with Cadbury, you could do loads of different chocolate things. So Chocolate Tower is another event that I would like to see come back, and I think that it'd be a really good Easter extravaganza at the Alton Towers Resort post-COVID era. Great way to bring the families back as well. So there we go. So that is looking at what I would do with three of the events uh, from the past at Alton Towers. Chocolate Towers, the Adrenaline Weeks, and of course, uh, the one and only half-term Hula Baloo. Uh, now, in terms of picking one out of those three, I've got to, uh, I'm sorry, I've, I'm, I'm an Adrenaline Junkie. I've got to go with the Adrenaline Weeks. It'd be Adrenaline Weeks, then Chocolate Towers, then half-term Hula Baloo. But Chocolate Towers in second and Adrenaline Weeks in first are not too far apart. I think there's a bit of a gap between third and second but you know there's not too much of a gap between second and first but i would go with the adrenaline weeks only just um you know i think the 15 pound entry for when the uh, offer starts of the 10 most thrilling rides remaining open for a good few hours and you know you guys getting to experience them and also the triple ride promise having to experience uh, the most thrilling rides at least three times a day you know all these different offers around the Adrenaline Weeks and the way they operate, I think that would be a great way to bring it back to the Alton Towers Resort, uh, especially bringing the Thrill Seekers back. And, you know, we're still, you know, in the dark about what could be Secret Weapon uh, 9 uh, in, the, in the next next couple of years, maybe. You know, in, in the next two, three years, we're expected probably to see Secret Weapon 9 open. Um, so it'd be a great way to maybe tease that with the Adrenaline Weeks, to tease a brand new roller coaster. Uh, they could use the Adrenaline Weeks to begin the marketing campaign for a Secret Weapon 9 in the next couple of, next couple of years. And, you know, I think it'd be really interesting. I think it'd be really interesting. If Nemesis is going to get overhauled over 2021 and reopen in 2022, I think 2022 should be the year they start back the Adrenaline Weeks because the, then they can include the refurbished overhauled Nemesis uh, into the lineup, especially into the lineup of the top 10 thrilling rides that they could, um, you know, put into this offer where you can experience those, uh, only those 10 thrilling rides. So basically the thrill seekers stay in the park for a good few more hours um, to experience the 10 most thrilling rides. But there is also the triple ride promise as well. So it would be interesting. Comment down below what events that you would like to see come back. But for now, guys, thank you very, very much for watching this update. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Chow, keep learning the coast life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a towers-tastic day.